The most common question I get on my channel sounds something like, I'm having trouble generating blank, what can I do? So let this video act as some mid-journey troubleshooting for you. Here is exactly what I would do when my prompt isn't working. The first thing I would try is adjusting the stylized value. The stylized parameter basically determines how much mid-journey will listen to you in the sense that mid-journey aims for beauty, and sometimes it can sacrifice your details to achieve that beauty. When you write a prompt, the default stylized value is 100, but you can choose a value between 0 and 1000. Personally, when my prompt isn't working, I would lower that value to somewhere between 40 and 60. You can do this by writing dash dash stylized at the end of your prompt, or dash dash s for short. Then you leave a space and enter the value. So take a look at this example. An aerial view of the Bahamas in the style of cubism. I did not enter a custom stylized value, which means it's at the default of 100. And these look okay, I guess, but it's not really picking up on the idea of cubism. If you don't know, cubism is this sort of abstract geometric representation of art. You might recognize some of Picasso's work in this style. And back in mid-journey, I'm not really seeing those geometric shapes I was looking for. So the first thing I tried was lowering the stylized value. Here it is at stylized 60. In one, three and four not very good but two like that's pretty solid that is what i was looking for and i only achieved that by adjusting the stylized value i tried this a few more times and i found a generation like this again that's what i'm looking for i even thought this one was pretty cool that looks like a neighborhood with some clear geometric shapes outlined in the picture you can lower the stylized value all the way to zero if you want but i have to warn you that the images have a good chance of being ugly unless you wrote an extremely detailed prompt like the <laughs> Number one's not bad, I guess, but these are not that great. And if you're new here, my name is Nolan and I'm doing my best to make learning AI as easy as possible. If you've learned something new so far, please click the like button so we can share it with more people. So, like I said earlier, the stylized value doesn't work every time. It's not the perfect solution. If you want Midjourney to listen to you even more, you should now consider trying your prompt in style raw. But if you're asking, what is style raw? It's a less opinionated version version of mid-journey. Similar enough, like a sibling though, just maybe a more boring older brother or sister, something like that. You can trigger it by typing dash dash style space raw at the end of your prompt. All parameters go at the end of your prompt by the way, and it doesn't matter what order they appear in. Let me show you this example so you can see just how big the difference can be. Art by Picasso C583 in the default mid-journey. No parameters besides picking the specific seed. And this is what it looks like, very colorful, very artistic, very beautiful. If we try that exact same prompt with that exact same seed number in in style raw, this is what we get. Extremely different, right? So the base mid journey takes an artistic flair on the prompt art by Picasso, while style raw literally means like these are all art by Picasso. It could be a statue, it could be an installation, it could be his art station. It really reads your prompt in a more literal fashion. It's going to focus on your words a lot more, and that just gives more importance to your prompt. You might not always want that big of a difference, but I think it's important for you to know that that difference is there. I have two more examples of style raw that will give you a better idea of what you're getting into. Perhaps the difference is not always clear, like here, a Lego rendition of a great cathedral. This is in the default mid-journey, and these look good on their own for sure. While here they are, same prompt, same seed in style raw. Again, maybe the difference isn't the most drastic thing in the world, but if my prompt isn't working, I'm always going to try style raw. And there's one more example of where style raw can be really important, and that's when you're using Niji Journey. This is the anime focus generator that you have access to. So when I try Portrait of a Digital Warrior Fovism style in Niji 6, I get these, and I think these are really gorgeous. This is how Niji Journey interprets the idea of Fovism. However, this is how Niji Journey interprets the idea of Fovism in style raw. Completely different, like completely different. Way more hardcore, rough, grungy, emotional. And again, if your prompt isn't working, whether it's in the base mid journey or or Niji, try Style Raw. You might find what you're looking for. Okay, forget Stylize, forget Style Raw. What if you have a prompt like this? I wrote a superhero fight scene. There is a superhero in the top right punching down against a superhero in the bottom left of the scene. The heroes fight in the midst of a broken city. And this is how it turned out. I don't think it really worked. Maybe number one is okay, but maybe my prompt just sucked. Okay, I tried my best writing a detailed prompt, but it didn't work. 
what can I do? My suggestion is to create a quick, detailed, rough sketch of what you're looking for. You could use something like Photoshop with mid-journey assets you generated. I'll show you how I did this in Canva. Canva is amazing. This video is not sponsored in any way. I just think that website's awesome, really easy to use, and perfect for a situation like this, where I need to plot out how I want the scene to look. I made this in less than two minutes. On Discord, you're going to hit this little plus button next to the prompt box. You're going to click on upload file. Once you've downloaded and saved the image, you can find it on your computer. It will show up here and that's when you need to hit enter. You need to like send the picture in the chat in order to interact with it on Discord. Now what you can do is rewrite your prompt. Then you can go up and click on the reference image and drag it into your prompt. You want to make sure there's a space between your regular prompt and the image. This is called image prompt. Now don't worry if this link is really long right here, it's going to get shortened after you hit enter. And you might end up with something like these. Now is that what you wanted? Maybe. I think it captures what I was looking for way more than the original. But you still have a couple more options. You can use the parameter dash dash IW after your image prompt. That stands for image weight and that determines how much influence that picture will have on the generation. You press space and then you can put a number between 0.5 and 3. Dash dash IW 0.5. Now that means that our image prompt has slightly less weight than the rest of our prompt. I like number 4, I think that's pretty cool. Maybe the rest of the prompt was the problem and all you need is a simple concept like a superhero fight scene. I added Unsplash for a hint of cinematic vibe. With our image prompt we get something like this. I like all of these. But let's say those first three things didn't really get you to where you want to be. There is one more thing you can try. Take this image here. I want more images that look like this. How can I do that? Well, traditionally I would recommend using the describe feature so you can get a better sense of how to prompt for this type of picture. You can hit forward slash describe in the prompt box, hit enter, you can choose to add a link or an image from your computer. When you hit enter, Midjourney will provide four options for you, all describing this one image. But when you run those prompts, you'll see they create something like this. Those are pretty, but that's not what I wanted. Maybe this is a little closer, number two's not bad. This one's okay, I like number three here, but the rest, oh no, not at all. We want the contrast between the white and the color. And then and here's the fourth option. Again, it's just not what we wanted. So what can you do? Well, you can use that original image as a style reference to make Midjourney listen to you even more. In order to do that, we're going to write our prompt as normal. We're going to leave a space and then write dash dash S R E F. SREF style reference. Again, you're going to hit the space bar. Then like image prompting, we can go up to our picture, click on it and drag it into the prompt box. Make sure there's a space between SREF and the link. Then when we hit enter, we might get something like these. How cool is that? It followed our style without having to describe it. That is so powerful. And that's exactly what I would do if I found that Midjourney wasn't listening to my prompts. Actually, I lied. If I thought it still wasn't listening to what I wanted, I would add dash dash SW after that and then a number between 0 and 1000. Here I chose 1000. SW stands for style weight. How much influence do you want your reference picture to have on your generation? Use dash dash IW when you're image prompting and use dash dash SW when you're style referencing. Absolutely gorgeous. And it works for all kinds of prompts. A pirate fleet, beautiful. A swarm of bumblebees, amazing. Those last two examples involved image prompting and style reference. If you wanna know more about the differences between the two, you can check out this video here. I hope you're doing well, take care, and I'll see you next time. Peace.